Arvindil FR6 is a fusion rifle added to Destiny 2 as part of Season of the Seraph. This one is our first high impact stasis fusion rifle and joins the powerful family of Omelon fusions. Well, today I'm going to have a closer look at the Arvindil FR6, check out the stats and the perks to girls to chase for PvP and PvE, plus also have a look at how to get the Arvindil FR6 in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of you viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Okay, let's get right to it. So how to get Arvindil FR6. Well, to get this fusion rifle, you're going to need to get world drops and they can occur in multiple locations in the game, including rewards at the end of players' activities, public events and lost sectors. Banshee44 also sells world drop weapons, so he's no doubt going to be selling it at some point throughout this season, so keep an eye on his inventory which changes every Tuesday at reset time. Ranking up at Banshee44 in the tower also gets you legendary engrams, which turn into world drop weapons. Okay, let's have a closer look at the Arvindil FR6. This one is a legendary kinetic fusion rifle with a high impact frame, meaning it's slow firing and high damage, and the weapon is more accurate when stationary, moving slowly and aiming down sights. Crucially, it fires stasis damage, and looking at the stats, we've got 95 for impact, 47 for range, 24 for stability, 18 for handling, 18 for reload speed. It's only got 3 for airborne effectiveness, but it's a 960 charge time with 5 in the magazine. Well, this one is a great looking weapon, plus it's a brand new high impact stasis fusion rifle, and it can roll with reconstruction, which is previously exclusive to the Deepstone Crypt weapons. This one is a very valuable perk in PvE. Now, generally, this feels like an excellent PvE weapon. Now, it's going to be difficult to use in PvP, I think, given the long charge time. Now, if you get that charge time down via a masterwork and a perk combination, I think that would be good if you want to take it into PvP. However, I would recommend this more on the PvE side of the game. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Arvindil FR6 God Roll Guides. So for PvE, Chambered Compensator, Accelerated Coils, Reconstruction, and Chill Clip would be really good. Chambered Compensator, Increased Stability, Moderately Controls Recoil, and Slightly Decreases Handling Speed. You've got Accelerated Coils, so faster charge time, decreases impact damage. Then you've got Reconstruction, this is a great one. This weapon slowly reloads itself over time up to double capacity. Then you've got Chill Clips, a direct hits with the top half of the magazine cause detonation that slows nearby targets. So if you can get that combination of reconstruction and shield clip, I reckon you are going to be on to a winner. Well, next up for PvP, extended barrel, accelerated calls, firmly planted and golden tricorn would be good. So the extended barrel, increase the range, decrease the handling speed and moderately controls the recoil. Accelerated coils, we have already been over, so you get the faster charge time and decrease in impact damage. Firmly planted, you get increased accuracy, stability and handling when firing while crouched. And then golden tricorn, so final blows of the weapon grant bonus damage. And while that buff is active, grenade or melee kills of the same damage type greatly increase its damage and duration. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the Arvindil FR6 and let me know your favourite role. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Arvindil FR6 in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.